In this video, we like to demonstrate a few basic settings for the CardioVid FT1. So let's go ahead and access those by selecting or pressing on the main menu icon located at the top left corner. And if you notice, toward the bottom, there's a little gear symbol on the left side. So let's go ahead and press on that. And then here toward the left, you will see a list of all of your different settings that you can configure, including filters, layout, interpretation settings, uh, so on and so forth. Now, one of the main things that I wanted to focus on actually was your connectivity settings. So uh, let's go ahead and go into them. So one of the first things I wanna show you is how to properly uh, connect your unit to the Wi-Fi network. So the first thing we're gonna do is select WLAN, Okay, and just to point out, right now we're not connected to nothing. So if you notice, this little symbol here with an X is letting you know that you're not connected to your Wi-Fi network at all. So here we'll actually be able to select what Wi-Fi network to, uh, to put. So here on SSID, you'll press on the little drop-down button, and you have a list of all of the different Wi-Fi networks available. Let's go and select... Schiller Americas, which is a desired Wi-Fi network that I choose. Okay. All right. And so then uh, we're going to hit on the security tab here at the top. And this is where you will enter your password, the Wi-Fi network's password. Okay. Ours is automatically input. So I can just go ahead. Once you properly uh, inserted it, let's go ahead and select apply. And if you notice now, instead of an X, you actually have a Wi-Fi icon okay and if you notice this it's in black so your wi-fi configurations are now set let's just go ahead but move back up a little bit on still under connectivity but we're going to select emr integration now what we're going to do here is pretty much select the way we're uh, uh transport transporting i'm sorry your ecg recordings so here depending on what the customer has installed, be it Schiller Link or Schiller Server, will determine your selection here. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and select Schiller Server. All right, so you have these fields that populate and your host ID, that actually has to contain your IP address of the PC that the reports are gonna be transmitted over to. All right, as for your port, 8181 will automatically fill in. And then you have both your user and your password, which by default, your user will be default and then your password uh, will be system. Now you can go ahead and test your connection. And you have now successfully connected to the server. Also, if you notice your Wi-Fi icon is now green. It went from black to green, and green means that you are now connected both to the Wi-Fi network as well as the server. All right, so let's go ahead and move down a little further to see a couple different settings here. All right, and of course, you'll notice your uh, general settings, such as setting your time and your date, setting the language, the units that you're going to be measuring in. <clears throat> and if you keep scrolling down toward the bottom, you will find workflow. Now in workflow, you have a few options. So you have the ability to select whether or not you want your reports to transmit after saving. Okay, so they will automatically transmit over after the report is saved internally. Um, you can select to um, have your report convert from PDF. Uh, to, you know, transfer it over to the USB after it's saved. Um, you can have the ability to delete the report after it's been transmitted over. Um, you can also select how you want your device to power up and in what mode. Do you want it in recorder mode or do you want it to power up and take it directly into your work list? All right, guys, this does conclude our demonstration for the basic settings of the FT1. If you do have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to Schiller Americas or your local distributor.